Like, dude, you always go here. Okay, I need you to, like, come down here for a little bit. Why don't you just go take a walk? Okay? Good boy. And your second society for all of your second shooter needs. Okay. A one, two, three. Imagine a world where you can work less and focus on what brings you joy in life. A world where burnout is a thing of the past. Well, our friends over at Uncut Gems have the perfect video editing solution for you. Say goodbye to time-consuming, creatively draining, sleepless editing nights, and hello to cost-effective peace of mind. With Uncut Gems, your videos aren't just outsourced, they're elevated. Through their easy-to-use video editing service, you can save money without compromising quality and receive the most important treasure of all, your time. And right now they are offering all of our listeners 75% off on your first order. So head over to uncutgems.com and use code wayward75 at checkout so that you can kick that backlog in the face and get back to being excited about your business. If you can't tell by the start of this video or the title, today we're talking about the one thing that I used to be absolutely terrified of when it came to wedding filmmaking, and that is miking the bride. Now, looking back on this, I think one of the biggest reasons I was so scared or nervous about doing this on a wedding was just because of the inexperience and lack of communication. And the truth is, it's not as scary as you may think, and it is 100% worth it. I think when it comes to the best approach is to really make sure that you're communicating your needs with the couple and having a conversation all about audio before the wedding day. What I've learned is that if you go into the wedding day not having this conversation, a lot of times the bride is gonna be a lot less receptive to having a mic put on her dress, especially if she has no idea on how you could even do that. She might just be a little bit more hesitant just out of worry or concern for her dress or just having to wear a wire throughout the entire day. All right, let's get this thing mic'd up. All right, I need to flip it around. I don't want to mess anything up. All right, yeah, this is like the perfect dress to put a mic. So it's like easily concealed. <laughs> this is quite the conundrum at every single wedding. Now for placement, this is gonna be key too. So generally we wanna have it as close to her mouth as possible. So there's like the perfect spot right here. So I'm gonna put the mic right there. All right, so I'm gonna take my mic here with my right coat sticky. And I'm gonna put that on the back first. And I'm gonna take another right coat sticky. I messed that one up. All right, and this is what's gonna stick to the back of her dress. Be one. So then I'm gonna take, these are like some protectant, wind protectants that I'm gonna put on the mic as well on the back side, also for clothes rustle. And then we are all set. We just put the mic on there. The next step, we need to get the recorder in the leg strap. I'm using the Ursa leg strap. 
Um, generally how I do this is I just let the maid of honor help her with this. Um, but everything's already locked in and secured, so the bride is all mic'd up so we can capture that quality sound on the wedding day. And then if you just wanna give me the uh, end part real quick, plug it in. I feel like you're like wearing a wire. This is like you're official, really like wire, reality TV. I know, right now. I know. <laughs> well, at least it's a big deal. All, all, yeah. all the fun audio you guys get to listen to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys follow yeah. me. I'm going to whisper to you guys to, throughout the night. To be honest, okay. we only really go for the good stuff. We don't really sit through the. You yeah, know, the, yeah, the yeah. blooper. And then, yeah, so it's just kind of like a garter. You just wrap it up at whatever's comfortable for you. It's yeah. like a garter. In person. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's my garter, so. It doesn't have to be that. So, on the, so actually, this piece goes on the skin. So it's, yeah, I opposite don't know. No, it's okay. Okay, so like this side. And then you want this hanging off? Or do you, we'll tuck so, I mean, the dress will cover it. I mean, you can also tuck so it maybe in. Maybe tuck it in just so I'm not like, you know, like Yeah, so, yeah, so it's comfortable. <laughs> And and how tight do you want it? And tight. That's, yeah, that's totally oh. up to you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so tight. Tight, so it's, I mean, that's, yeah. That's that? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll toss it. Look, you're a pro. Yeah. Perfect. No, I think that's so besides the best approach on how you should navigate the conversation on liking the bride, here are three reasons why I think it is super important. And the first reason is because of true preservation. Think about all the moments that occur on a wedding day both large and small. It's often the small moments that happen that hold the most weight and become the couple's favorite thing about the entire day. Audio is where we are able to truly immerse the audience into their story. And having quality sound and professional audio in our films is the best way to truly immerse the viewer, to stand out from the crowd and increase the production value of our films. The second reason is backups. There is no such thing as having too many backups when it comes to filming someone's wedding. I've had recorders fail, I've had the DJ soundboard be completely unusable, and if this is what you rely on to capture quality sound on the wedding day, you are really providing a disservice to your couple because your film could end up suffering because of these unexpected things like the DJ soundboard going out, your recorders failing, anything else that happens with recorders and technology, it's not perfect. So making sure that you have a backup is just gonna give you that peace of mind and be a better service to your couple's story because they are trusting you with such a monumental time in their lives and you definitely shouldn't take this for granted. For me, I have five Tascam recorders, two Zoom F2s, a field recorder, a stick mic that lives on all of the handheld mics, and even a magnet-sized mic in the Instamic Pro. So with all of that to say, miking the bride is just going an extra step further in providing an extra layer to your films, having a backup audio source, and just giving you that peace of mind. And the third reason that you should consider miking the bride is honestly so you could raise your pricing. Weddings can be lucrative, but only if you have experience and your films sound professional. Miking the bride goes that extra step on the wedding day and not only ensures that you have a backup solution, but so that the moments you capture can be brought to life in a real and powerful way. This will help you take your films to the next level, allow you to be more excited about the stories that you tell because you're able to really immerse the viewer because you have quality sound to back it up. And your production value can increase because you're providing value to your couple, you're adding quality sound into your films, and caring about preserving the couple's day in a professional and beautiful way. So when it comes to miking the bride, here are some of the tools that you will need. You will need a leg and thigh strap. I use the Ursa strap that you can find on B&H or Amazon, and it's perfect for holding the Tascam and the Zoom F2s. You will need your recorder, whether that is a Tascam, a Zoom, something that is small and compact that can fit inside the pocket of these straps. And then you will need your Rycoat stickies and your windscreens. So the windscreens that I use help me with clothes rustling. And so these are really beneficial to incorporate when you mic the dress. And just be more inspired because your wedding films are coming to life in a real raw and beautiful way. So thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable in some way. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know, are you miking the bride? Are you not? Why? Why not? 
I want to hear from you guys. And so until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace. Yeah,